morning everybody we're up at the uh property in statesville north carolina as you can see we've got it graded we got the construction entrance in usually we try to do just a light load of, of gravel as the construction entrance um just to get the workers in and out until everything gets done the house gets in and all the big trucks are gone and then we'll come in and we'll dress it up a little bit more final if not then they'll tear everything up so if you guys looked at the video before um <clears throat> when i was out here before this is pretty much wooded smaller trees but it was it was wooded i uh, went to knock that bank down some um, I think we really needed to go over a little bit more. So I'm, I'm, out, I'm out here to, once we clear everything, um, we've got to come back out, and, and you, especially with the smaller or narrower lots, we've got to come back out and relay everything out just to make sure we've got um, the, uh, the house marked off where we anticipated having it. Um, because the original markers, obviously when the guys come out and do the clearing, they're gone. So I am here today to post up the, the permit box. Um, so I'll figure out a good place to do that. I'll usually try to do it on a tree. I probably won't do it up close to the road. So I'll show you, I'll come back and show you where I posted the permit box and then where I flagged the house off at, um, in relation to where it was before. But we've got the grading and clearing done. We've got the construction entrance in, and we actually also have the septic in. Um, the guy that does the grading and clearing, uh, I usually wait to do the septic just because it's kind of risky doing it before you get the house in here. Um, people running over it or just being in the wrong spot. But the guy that did the grading um, does the septic, so I told him to go ahead and do it. Um, just because it was a pretty easy lot. As you can see, you may not be able to see them there, but the house markers are still kind of there. So we're gonna go off of that side and, uh, and measure it from here. But I'll come back and show you what I've got after we get done. But that septic's in, the lines go out and go back out that way. Customer wanted us to, he had to get a building out here and move from where he is currently. So we graded a little pad up there to get him that area there. All right, guys, so it took me maybe about 45 minutes and I finished the uh, what I needed to do here. I just want to show you. Put the permit box. Usually I post it up on a tree, but there's no tree convenient to the site. So I'm going to have my footer guy, when he comes out, to bring a post and put that in the ground right out in front of the house somewhere so it's easy, maybe right here on the hill, so it's easy for the uh, inspector to get to. Um, so what I wanted to do, again, with a slim lot, I have to make sure now, if it's really, really tight, I'll get a surveyor. I won't rely on my, my own um, expertise just because I don't want it to fall back on me. It's, business is about liability, um, if you guys haven't, don't know. But anyway, um, so I measured the permit um, or, or looked at the permit and measured everything based on the permit. We had a 41-foot from the front of the road to this front corner. I ended up, we're allowed 35. It ended up being maybe um, 38, 37, so it's very close. Um, we had 35 foot from the side corner to the edge of the house, and I got that, that was fine. Um, and we needed 10 foot between this back corner, which is the edge of the house, and the septic tank. And I've got about 15, 16 foot, so we're good there. The most important thing is make sure we got our 10 foot there, or uh, at least 35 foot in the front, and, and uh, it's only supposed to be 15 on the side, so we, we've got that. Um, but my footer guy, what he's gonna do, I just did approximate to show him what area I wanted the house, and he's gonna come out, he's gonna square it up, put the footers in, I'll show you um, the footers, or if you look at any of my other videos, it'll be pier and perimeter footers. The pier footers is what goes around the house. That's what the foundation sets on. And then the perimeter footers are for the piers underneath the home, uh, which are every, you know, every so often, six foot, five foot, four foot, I don't remember. It, each house is different. Um, but that's what the block underneath the home stacks up on. Um, so he'll come out and do the concrete for those. He'll dig out for the footer and pour the concrete in them, and then we'll be ready to uh, bring the, the house and set it on it. Again, this is a double wide, uh, 28 by 48. With double wides, you do the foundation afterwards and not before. So um, 
we'll be seeing a house out here soon next video on this project will be the house come well the footers I'll, I'll video the footers and then we'll get the house thank you guys for watching bye, -bye.